joy, pain every day There's a change In, out, no doubt lies to play With no shame It will pick you up It will knock you down it will bring you joy Turn your world around Oh, oh, oh I can make you lose control Oh, oh, oh But you gotta keep on holding on Gotta keep on holding Again, the cycle won't end Till we end It will chew you up Spit you on the ground It will bring you joy Turn your world around You good, bro? Man, of course I'm good. Don't worry about helping me. It's my competition that need help. Hell, bro. These bars were spent last night. Shit was cold, son. Definitely, man. I don't play when it covers this. I go hard. Mixtape almost on, too. Once I get that shit mixed and mastered, shit gonna be crispy, homie. I can't wait to hear that shit. Sure. No, but, bro, in all seriousness, you gotta talk to Sandra. We gotta get some more money. Get that shit by any means necessary, man. Definitely, man. I meant to talk to her. About, man, she upstairs right now. As soon as I go in there, definitely talk to her about that man, shit. Man, you need to do that, too. Get you a press kit, a few music videos. About to be popping, homie. Oh, yeah, man. I can't wait to hear this. Sure. Put this out, you know what I'm saying? But while I'm getting crib, I'm going to be sure to talk to her tonight, man. Y'all fellas have a good night. Peace. All right. Peace. Peace. Yo, Sandra. Yo, Sandra. Hey, what's up? Damn, Carlos. You're always doing this. If I lose my job, then what how? Then what? Hey, we just not worry about that shit. Because I'm about to blow up. And I can't wait till you hear these dope tracks that I dropped last night. Speaking of that, I want to talk to you about the budget because, you know, I ain't working right now. Right now? Carlos, you ain't had a job all year! This shit ain't easy! Going to school, working all these hours, and trying to take care of all of us on minimum wage! I need your help! You need to forget about the rap shit! Oh, you better no. watch how you take that tone with me! You know, music is my life. What you trying to say, Sandra? Trying to say, screw me? Remember, I'm the reason you're in America no, right no, now. No, 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 Carlos. I'm just saying. Maybe you should give it a rest for a while. Maybe find a way to be some income in the house so we can live a little better. That I'm saying. Don't wake up, Sabrina. She's sleeping. Don't you ever think you'll take that talk with me. I got this. It will pick you up It will knock you down 
It will bring you joy Turn your world around oh, 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 oh. I can make you lose control oh, 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 oh. But you gotta keep on holding on Oh, Thomas, didn't expect to see you. You had an appointment last week. What happened? To be honest with you, I completely forgot about it. I uh, picked up another job and some extra hours on the shift. Pay for medication and treatments. I know they're pretty expensive. Speaking of your meds, you got a minute we can talk? Yeah. Got your lab results today, and it doesn't look good. We're running out of time. What did the, uh, what did the results say? It shows that the cancer is throughout your body and it's working its way to your brain. This is extremely bad. I wish there was something I could do. I really do. Is there uh, anything I can do? Honestly, I don't know. Your insurance won't cover the adequate treatment you need for this condition. Well, uh, my mom left me a pretty decent amount before she died. How much is the treatment? A hundred thousand dollars, but don't quote me on that. We can sit down in my office and we can figure everything out and make a game plan. ASAP. I'll call you. Make sure you call my office to reschedule an appointment. And this time, show up. I'll call you. This uh, this is the neighborhood. I have to clear my mind. Got a lot going on. Seeing you, figure. Come by and say hi. Where's uh, where's Sabrina at? You know where we got her. She's with her dad. Really? Surprise. Well, she more like a babysitter if you ask me. Shut up, Thomas. That ain't that bad. Why you talking about him? Yeah, it is. Anyway, what you uh, what you reading? Mary Viewer. I see you for a second. Just real, sure. real quick. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You, uh, maybe ain't getting this back, right? Are you serious? I need that. Give Don't that to me. Come on. Want <laughs> to go. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. If Carly knew what was going on right Dude, I now, I have no idea. I've been on this couch all day. I'm my grind. Nobody wants to buy mixtapes anymore. They're all more concerned about, like, catching these squirtadile things or whatever the hell they are in Pokemon Go. Hey, bro. Got a mixtape. You want one? Five bucks. Dude, come on. You can't even spare five bucks. I screw you. No, man, this is bullshit. They're all more concerned about, like, this mumble rap. 
Nobody can tell what, nobody can understand what the hell they're saying. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> shit, dude. Alright, hey, I gotta let you go. I gotta lay some shit on you when I see you tonight, alright? Alright, peace out. God damn it. Can't believe she's cheating on my boy like that. <laughs> I mean, Carlos ain't gotta know. I think I gotta go. I don't get it, man. I mean, how you tell me about him? Why don't you just pack your bags up and go? Go anywhere. And run where? Right to you? I mean, that would be nice. You don't know I can take care of you. Thomas! Yeah, I know. I ain't your type. But seriously, though, go anywhere. France, family, anywhere. But don't stay with him. Thomas, it's not that easy. I don't have family here. And. There was a time I had friends, but they stopped coming around because of him. He like, for right now, all I got. But I don't think about just running away. I think about just getting my baby and my income tax, going to California. What's in California? <laughs> well, I always wanted to be a model, you know public figure, someone, woman of the world who could look up to. I think I'm cute enough, don't you? <laughs> nah, you love me as hell. Nah, what you think? Um, well, Carlos always tells me I'm too skinny or too short or all kind of things. I kind of believe him because guy don't look at me the way they used to. Well, uh, you know if I was loving you, I'll let you right. Thomas, you're so sweet. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have you. You know what? You're such a great listener. I don't know what to say. <coughs> you okay? Yeah. Let's get a little cold. A little sick, that's all. Well, I gotta go, Thomas. See you tomorrow. Mixtape in inventory here. Well, how many units we talking? I got like 500 out of my car. Okay. We ain't playing. Yeah. Well, you got two options. You got option A. You can price it individually, however you like. 
we add on our fee per unit. But your second option is a monthly nominal fee, no matter how many. Bro, I gotta talk to you real quick. I'm doing business. One sec, it's real important. I gotta head out. Bro, we do real quick. One sec. One sec. I can't. I gotta head out. One sec. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Bro, let's go. Excuse come on. Me, one sec. All right, man. Yeah, go handle your business. Bro, look at you all clean shaven. What you about to get into? Nah, oh, man. Don't worry about that. So anyway, I was down at CC today, just slanging mixtapes for Lois and everything, and just back on those girls and yoga pants. I do like yoga pants. Things are a thing of beauty, man. I tell you what. What's up, though? Fight your shoe. God, uh, when I was down there, I actually saw Sander with another dude. For real? Yeah, man. They weren't all talking like buddy, buddy. They were just like all up on top of each other, man. Lowe's now? I doubt it, man. But you didn't tell him? Nah, oh, man. I don't know. That boy's crazy on that picture right here, man. And I say, look at that. She all up on him, man. Somebody gotta tell him. Yeah, and that is going to be your responsibility. Oh, it yeah. is. Huh? Yeah, I actually got head out. I got head down to Count Zoo, and I'm actually meeting with the company that is going to be filming his next music video. So, you are going to have to take one for the team, and I have bid you a deuce. Uh, those are my homies, so I'm gonna handle that. But you owe me big. No, and after this video comes out, you're gonna be all with me, and I hope you're right. So anyway. What was that second option again? Well, your second option is a monthly nominal fee, no matter how many of you sell. Oh, see, that's what we want right there. In this concrete jungle, we live in this progress. Yo, I'm feeling this mumble rap shit, bro. Man, shut your ass up, man. I'm just playing. Hey, babe. What's up? Man, it's been a long day. Yeah, bro. I know you were lyricists. Mm -hmm. Just gotta get this promo right. Oh, mama's baby. Huh? Mwah. I love you. I'm tired. Just gonna lay up for an hour, then I get the food started, okay? Alright. Anyway, bro, speaking of promo, I talked to the promoter at the intersection. What? He said he might have something for you. Okay. Tell you, but I mean, I mean, you already started to talk about it. You might as well finish it. I well, Wayne was up at the college. Uh huh. Hustling those mixtape, how we do. That's what Wayne do, man. Yeah, for sure. But he saw your girl. Uh huh. And she wasn't alone, bro. What you mean she wasn't alone? Who was she with? Bro, I don't even know. Peep this. Oh hell no! No, 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 stupid. So you was at work all day? Carlos, yes, we need the money, and you know that I was at school. Oh. Don't you lie to me. I know who you is at, and I know who you was with. <laughs> Babe, it's not the right. It's the right. It's, it's not. <laughs> Babe, I told you. Shut up. I want to hear what you got to say. You ain't got no business okay. chilling with another yeah, nigga. Stop you, yo, 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 man. Yo, man. Yo, man. Yo, man. Yo, man. Get off me, man. Get off 
from the sand. Bro, be off me, man. The sand, get back. Bro, it ain't worth it. Man, you got a career to think about, man. Come on. Come on, man. man get off me, man. Thomas here. No, he's not. Can I help you? I'm sort of his friend. I'm Sandra. Oh yeah, Sandra. He's mentioned you before. What happened to your face? Oh my God! Come in. Here, have a seat right here. Let me get you some water and a towel for your face. Here's a towel for your face. I'm Thomas's sister, Lisa. I just flew in from California. I got a call from the doctors saying that he's in the hospital and I should get here right away. So I got on the first flight over here. I was actually on my way up there to see him when you came. Hospital? What's wrong? I don't know. I don't have all the details just yet. And honestly, when my mom passed away and left Thomas this house, I went off to California for my career. And my brother and I, we just, we didn't talk like we should. But anyway, what happened to your face? I don't know what I'm going to do. I just feel so hopeless. Life is too hard, Lisa. This is too much to handle. I know if I ran to the if I went to the police, he would run and follow me. Who? My boyfriend. Look. You have to be strong. You do not have to be in a relationship with a man that puts his hands on you. I'm scared, Lisa. I'm scared. I have nothing. Nothing but this dream. A dream? Girl, you better wake your ass up from this dream. Actually, when I was in Thomas's room getting his things together, I came across an envelope and a note with your name on it. Let me go and grab it for you. Here you go. I have no idea, but I think you should take it now because he may not have another chance to give it to you. Please tell Thomas to get well. Maybe see him tomorrow. Thank you so much. You take care of yourself, okay? as well.
should have just left your ass outside. Oh, where's my baby? You wouldn't think about us when you was out with that nigga. You probably screwing him. Is you screwing him, Sandra? No, I'm not. I'm not screwing him. I'm not screwing anyone. Hey, It'll be easy, bro. Come on. Get off me, bro. I got this, man. It's don't make a perfect. Oh, shit, I gotta go to the studio anyway. We can talk about us later. That's even if it's a us.
Let me help you with that. Thank you. So how was your show? That was good. I it think. It was. Yeah, I think I nailed it. It's for real. I'm Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We should get going though. Our buses are waiting for us. Let me put this right here. Okay. This way. Thank you. You're welcome. Just a second, I got a call. I'll be right back. Hello? Yes. I'm looking for a young lady by the name of Sandra. Does that sound familiar to you? Yes, this is Sandra. Who's this? Hello, Sandra. My name is Dr. Jonas Alexander, and I'm calling on behalf of Thomas Mitchell. Yeah. I've been trying to get a hold with him. How is he doing? That's why I'm calling. Thomas didn't have many friends or family, and his dying wish was that I contact you to see how you were doing. Dying? What do you mean, dying? Thomas was suffering from pancreatic cancer, and when we last spoke, he told me that his mother had left him some money to help fund his medications and his treatments until a while back. A letter came into my office stating that he had given up on fighting his condition and that there was someone else more important to him that deserved a chance at having a better life. And that person, Sandra, is you. Are you there? Are you there, Sandra? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm on my way now to California. That's good. Very good to hear. I believe that's all Thomas wanted was for you to be happy. And this was the least I could do, given that Thomas didn't have anyone else to carry out this wish. And he was such a good young man. Me and Thomas was really good friend. I think at least we were. Yes, I understand. But I have to go now. Okay? May God bless and keep you. Keep your head up and continue to live a good life. Sandra, Sam, Mr. Baswell is waiting for, uh, for us. The airplane is leaving in an hour. We got to go. Okay, I gotta go. Thank you, Sandra. Talk to you later. And it was meant to be I'm so confused When brothers when I always seem to lose Is this the path I choose? Do you really think he's into you? How could I ever have a chance with you? 